pay to solve problem. All these kind of things are indeterminate. It means say no get meaning, not meaningless. When you encounter your answer, your results, will they give you this one? Even if you get something like infinity raised to the power of zero, even if you get a zero raised to the power of infinity, even if you sometimes get infinity as the answer say, even if you get maybe one to the power of infinity, like then plenty, this indeterminate form, then plenty solve problem because they encounter this kind of thing. Just to say that's this thing not meaningless. So the English way they use the word way they use that for math now uh, indeterminate. But when you use that one, you can't get this indeterminate. No means say what you solve wrong. Go. It means say the method we apply, no go enter. That now make I want to teach you the method we will use. So when you encounter indeterminate, either you will use what you call direct substitution. You will try the direct substitution. Direct substitution if it give you if direct substitution give you indeterminate, it means say direct substitution no go work. So what you can't do. You go either simplify the method by either rationalization, depending if food food for the body, you go rationalize that rationalization method, you go rationalize that, or you get as the the, the, the matter will be, you go do it, you apply what they call the El Hopita, El Hopita rule, El Hopita's rule. I beg no be hospital what I call it. Now, Hopita, El Hopita's rule, you apply the El Hopita's rule. So, if you apply on El Hopita's rule, you get as it be, they give you indeterminate form. You go still apply this El Hopita's rule, the method of differentiation, it just means to make you differentiate everything we get for that particular place. You guys take this, if you go one divide, divide the numerator and the denominator. And denominator by the highest power of the independent variable present. Okay, so you get us to be you apply this particular method. This one nine carriers come. This one they call limit at infinity. When they say x tends to infinity, when you see something like x approaches infinity, like this, at this last method we use, you know, go bother yourself. Let me try any of this method. So I say direct substitution. When you do direct substitution, the next thing we want to do is the simplification or factorization, depending on the nature of the question. If you still rationalize, if you still apply log down rule, if you divide the numerator and denominator by the highest power of the independent variable present, depending if you get limit at x or anything any variable tending to infinity as the case may be so now the basic introduction